Okay, so I'm going to do my top 10 top 10 nail products. All right, so let's get started. Um, my favorite base coat so far has been the Sally Hansen Nail Growth Miracle. This makes my nails grow really fast. The only thing I don't like about it is that it says you're supposed to use this every day, I think. Apply one thin coat to clean, dry, bare nails every other day. Every other day. If wearing nail color, wear it, use it as a base coat, then apply color, um, remove if your irritation continues. Um, so you put this on, then do your color. It really does make my nails grow, but it's kind of a pain to, you know, keep up with it every day, every other day, every three days even, you know? Like once my polish is on, I just want to forget about it. So I really like this. This is like $5 and I'm sure you can get it anywhere Sally Hansen is sold. Um, the next thing I have, I spent $10 or so on these cuticle trimmers. I got them at Sally's maybe two years ago, and they just, they fit in my hand really nicely. Um, I feel like I'm never going to have to replace them. Like, they're just a nice pair of cuticle clippers. And for me, that, it just makes my nails look a lot more done. So, I really like these. It is worth it to invest in a pair. Um, as far as nail art stuff, I got these, like, turquoise stars and flowers. There were two sheets of them at Walmart. Um, I've had these for a couple of years, but I mean, some of them are hearts, some of them are stars, some of them are glittery, some of them are not. They're all peel off and stick on. Um, you could use them on your toes. There are ones just for your tips. Um, I don't know. I feel like there are a lot of options within, you know, this one little $3 pack or whatever. So I really like those. Then, if you've ever ordered from the Beauty Sampler, um, she does MAC pigments um, repackaged in little 5 gram jars. Um, this one is called 3D Silver, and um, this is really nice for nails. You can put it on top of a color, you know, you could use like a dotting tool and put it on. You could use it as an accent to some other type of nail art. You could, you know, put it on top of a cone added design. Um, you have a lot of options. I feel like this glitter is way too chunky to go on your face, but, um, it would be nice for your nails or, like, your toes, you know, make a little, um, French tip out of it. Those are some of the things I've done. So, I really like this, and a five, a five gram sample or whatever, a quarter teaspoon sample is gonna last you a long time on your nails because you're just using a little bit at a time. Um, so I love that. My favorite polishes, I have two from the Shrek collection. I have the green somewhere, but I don't know where it is. So I love this purple. It's a uh, Rumpel's Wigan. I love this one. And the blue, What's With the Catitude. Um, I have this on my toes right now, I think. I also love, 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 love China Glaze for Audrey. This one is a really pretty um, kind of sea foamy green. And when you compare it to what's with the Catitude, you can see this is much more green than blue. This is more like a robin's egg blue, Easter egg blue. And this is more of a, I don't know, I associate this with like the ocean and sea spray. Um, Tiffany's blue, you know, Tiffany's green. And then um, I have wanted China Glaze OMG. I think it's number 641 for a long time, at least a year. Um, but it goes for like $60 on eBay, and that's just ridiculous. So I've looked up dupes, and this one by Color Club is called Worth the Risk. And Risk is spelled the British way, R-I-S-Q-U-E. So Worth the Risk by Color Club. This was under $5, and... It is a really pretty holographic um, polish. It's very silvery chromey, but when it catches the light, you catch the whole rainbow. You know, I can see green, yellow, orange, pink, purple. It's got everything in it. And it's a really, really super fine micro glitter. So this is a great polish. It's probably not as great as OMG, but for 10% of the price, no, like 5% of the price, you really can't complain, you know? So this one is great. And then I have two Conad plates. Um, a girl I work with, we went to the mall. It's the only thing I've ever bought at a kiosk and got a Conad set. 
and the set I got came with four plates. You had to keep two of them, but you could trade out two of them. And the two that I traded out for, I really like. So I got M78, which has, um, you're going to see the reflection. So it's got um, a animal print, this kind of like neat bamboo-y looking plant one, this flower kind of mod looking one, and um, I don't know, some ugly butterflies. But that's the way all their plates work. You find like one or two really cute things and then the rest is kind of garbagey. But I really like this plate. This is M78. And then I got the fruit plate, which is M55. It's got an apple, grapes, um, cherries. It doesn't have cherries. I take that back. I'm lying. A slice of watermelon, strawberries. And like the watermelon, you could make the little rind green and make the fruit red. Or like you could even do like black as the seeds. Like. You get as detailed with it as you want. So I like this one. I think it's really cute. I don't know. It feels like Japanese or something. I don't know. I just think it's really cute. So two Conad plates, a couple of polishes, my favorite, favorite base coat, a nice pair of cuticle trimmers, some glitter, some nail art, and those are my favorites. I hope this was helpful and made you kind of want to get some of this stuff. All right. Have a good day.